all right guys welcome back to my channel my name is sam of course all right so this news right here is the biggest news in cryptocurrency world today right about a rapper and a writer in in forbes right they hacked uh, bitfinex in um in 2016 uh, i think they had a they hacked about a hundred and seventeen thousand bitcoin not a hundred and seventeen thousand dollars bitcoin a hundred and seventeen thousand bitcoin in 2016 and bitcoin wasn't up to wasn't even up to uh twenty thousand dollars as at that time all right so it's, it's a very funny funny uh, okay a hundred and nineteen thousand seven hundred and fifty six thousand bitcoin was hacked now the crazy part is uh, okay i think i'll get get, get on to that the, the crazy part is the 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 weird af person i don't want to mention the word that hacked the the bitcoin right together with his with his boyfriend right the boyfriend was working in forbes uh, you know was writer in forbes magazine and this is the lady i'm just going to play the video shortly <laughs> I mean, why, why in the world would you have Bitcoin worth billions of dollars and you didn't even have to wrap? Okay, okay. let's assume wrapping comes with, you know, um, you know, you having talent or something. This is the weird person that, 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 that had over a hundred thousand Bitcoin. Anyways, uh, moving on, uh, the Bitcoin was, was, uh, was later recovered by DOJ. Uh, which stands for department of justice in the united states that was yesterday they were both arrested anyways i don't spend much news on that so uh how did they get hacked you know you know sorry get how 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 were they able to catch these guys so apparently you know the government and bitfinex the exchange that they've been they've been trailing the addresses that's that's to just in case you're out there right and you steal people's money and and you steal crypto it can be traced right most especially if you're, if you're stealing bitcoin it can be traced down to you it might take years but you will definitely be caught and you'll be sent to jail right um there are other cryptocurrencies that cannot be traced but it's not my responsibility to tell you which cryptocurrency you should use for whatever nonsense you're doing using the point is stop stealing people's properties it's it's anyways you know the cryptocurrencies were traced back to them and today in jail moving on all right to, to some other news okay this is this part of the news this is the lady right here uh with her boyfriend and they could even get nice clothes to wear come on man <laughs> oh god moving on japan-based messaging app will offer trial um run of native token starting in march so the, the the name of the platform is line i've used it before um i think okay they're adding uh, bitcoin and ether to its payment that that is nice that is nice like i always say this is going to be the trend within the next couple of years um i expect whatsapp facebook and instagram to roll out such feature we've already seen something similar on twitter where you can currently what i'm as i'm speaking to you works you can actually tip people right so you can actually tip people crypto um on bitcoin what am i that's on bitcoin <laughs> on twitter all right yeah so that's it right there anyways moving on to some other news blockchain based internet company 3a abandons cardano for scale um network i'm getting skill for the first first time so probably um i'm going to do another video talking about scale but uh the article says by migrating to scale the ceo said that uh, 3s developers can begin work immediately on their development he also told that skills fast transactions zero gas fees and multi chain capabilities especially around decentralized applications i've been saying this for years and you know when i when i started saying stuff like this in 2016 2017 i said blockchains of the future will not have transaction fees i said this years ago and, and a lot of people laughed at me and they said you don't know what, what you're saying but it's gonna be the trend we have we have almost 10 different blockchains that way 
that, 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 that don't have transaction fees for every transaction, right? Because you can be building it, 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 uh, a decentralized social network on a blockchain that, had, that has fees. It's not going to scale. Right, so that's the scale news. PayPal establishes advisory council for crypto and blockchain. So PayPal is a is a uh, gigantic um, payment platform, right? And they've they've actually gone into crypto and they're trying to make uh, crypto more accessible through their platform. And that's going to bring bring about more adoption to crypto as a whole. Now this is the news right here. Department of Justice seized uh, three point six billion dollars. We've already gone through that news earlier on. Moving on, so lawyer lawmakers in in the United States pushes for states level regulations on stable coins. Yeah, th this is how it's supposed to be, right? Instead of just coming out and saying, "Hey, we are banning crypto," I, I mean, I, I made a post. I made a post today on Facebook, um, and the post says, uh, "Let me see if I can quickly check it." That the Nigerian government would have made at least one billion dollars from crypto tax alone in revenue they would have made at least one billion dollars and, and that would have been enough to pay some of the debts you know uh, we've, we've seen countries like india introduced to 20 percent either 20 percent or, or, or 30 percent uh, tax uh we've seen russia also okay this is even the news about russia simple math says russia could collect up to 13 billion dollars in uh, 13 billion dollars in crypto tax each year why ban crypto when you can you know tax it and and the amazing part is that this these countries can actually start taxing crypto right way before you know other countries and and generate enough revenue for themselves you know this this can become extra source of income for 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 less developed countries but you know common sense is it really really common anyways <laughs> To some more interesting news. Saudi Arabia Medical Institution implements blockchain-based digital uh, credentialing solution. All right, so I'm going to read the goal. Right, the Saudi Arabian Medical Institution, King Faisal Specialist Hospital and Research Center (KF) whatever, recently completed a development, a deployment of blockchain tech. When it's when it's implemented, a digital credential solution for all patients that. What am I reading? The implementation was carried out via recently launched blockchain lab, which has uh, already identified. <laughs> Anyways, I know why they're doing this, and here's the reason: when you have uh, information, uh, mostly a digital credential source stored on the blockchain, it can be uh, manipulated easily, right? And it's somehow safe, right? Because uh, it cannot be tampered with, right? And it gives gives it some form of uh truths and reliability right um uh, and of course makes it distributed so that other you know technical hospitals can accept you know or access the information moving on to singapore singapore saw 13x jump in crypto investment in 2021 according to kpmg and also there was a news recently the news was i think new news came out yesterday how that kpmg in the united states has Oh, has actually added uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum to its balance, uh, balance sheets, and big, big move for for KPNG. Uh, yep, and also big move in for crypto as a whole. Moving on, uh, this should be the U.S. crypto lobbying expenditure doubles in 2021, and uh, yeah, the biggest expenditures. Right, I don't think I want to go through this news um i'll just I'll go on to the all right so this is a pretty interesting news uh, about a, a trader called sam he's my namesake yeah so he actually built a, a bot let me read it trader built bitcoin by the deep bots and at, uh, according to the reports it says it it outperforms this year but um as a trader i wouldn't advise anyone to use a trading bot to replace this year Right, if you can have a, a, a bot that helps you DCA, it's better than to have a trading bot that will outperform your DCA, if you know what that means. I'll say it again. It's better to DCA yourself or get a bot that helps you DCA 
but don't use a trading bot to replace your DCA or a bot that helps you outperform DCA. So what did what is what is DCA? DCA means dollar cost averaging, and is a way of buying cryptocurrency every single day or month or year using a fixed amount or a particular amount of money. Let's say you can you say you want to be buying ten dollars every day, whether the market goes up or not, you're going to keep buying ten dollars worth of crypto every single day in the bull market in the bear market you, it doesn't matter you just keep buying all right so it, it has been you know studied that over the years dca gives more profits than trading yes that is a fact right but this trader called sam is claiming that you know his dca robot which is hosted on github is be is better than um you know just doing dc yourself right and it's built with python lambda uh, lambda react and whatever and it costs about five dollars a month anyways let's go to the last news so this is news about iphone now every 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 mobile phone comes with what is called nfc let me, let me see if i can quickly browse in the meaning of nfc nfc uh anyways there's something in every phone okay, near field communication every every mobile phone or should i say most new mobile phones this is has what it calls what is called nfc um nfc can be used to make payments and for, according to this news apple pay users will technically be able to use iphone's tap to pay future to make crypto payments across mainstream for businesses when this is done right using nfc trust me the price of crypto will, will hit a new all-time high with all this bullish news we've seen different countries you know accepting uh cryptocurrency bringing out laws to favor cryptocurrency to tax cryptocurrency to tax cryptocurrency because you cannot tax what you want to ban you're only taxing what is now legal right you cannot tax what is illegal right so this this uh, services will make crypto more more friendly and more easy for people to use and as much as, and as much people get to use crypto so will the price keep going up so that's the nfc that's the technology it uses anyways i hope you find this uh, video really educative if you do do please do make sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video see ya